good morning dear students today we are going to learn about sustainable development last class we have learned about how to what are the uh, renewable and non renewable resources and how to protect all those resources that we have learned again see now sustainable development again we are learning how to conserve or how to protect or it is our duty to protect the resources different resources are there natural resources human resources or man made resources everything we know that and we have to protect such type of the resources also that is sustainable development means uh, we already know that non renewable resources get exhausted as they are consumed means if we consume more then the it will uh, finish fast and even renewable resources uh, when Uh, consumed take some time to get replaced all of a sudden the processing may not be occurred it will take some time to replace the resources and this is some like uh, crops uh, are replaced you typically we know that the crops and all may be replacing or may be occurring fast or quickly but some like uh, oil nutrients and water may take several years to get restored see this water or different mineral resources all of a sudden it is not possible to occur such resources it will take lot of years to restore or occur again and while some like forests may take many years for standard if once it is uh, replenished or stopped then what will happen or destroyed uh, it will take a many years or take a lot of years to occur it again so we have to be very careful by using such type of resources and resources may also become unfit for use due to our activities means some or many resources may become unfit for use how it may become unfit for use this also is because of our activities we are only making these resources unfit for using if then see if we do not preserve the quality of our resources and protect our resources what is what will happen if we are not protecting our resources from depletion ah uh, then what will happen a time may soon come when usable resources may not be ah uh, means what will happen usable resources will be completely exhausted such time may be coming soon so we have to be again i am telling we have to be very careful while using such type of resources means again see for for continuous economic development we must ensure the future availability of resources also we can use the resources but we have to be little bothered about the future availability of the particular resources particular or the particular resource then same conserving resources means protecting them from getting polluted or depleted so that they can be used in future see in all this uh, topic we are learning about sustainable development the main thing we have to protect or we have to conserve the resources and you see now we are going to learn about how to conserve the resources how we can 
conserve some of the resources for the future generation see preventing wastage and excess consumption of resources we have to stop the wastage of resources and excess consumption or excess use of resources if it is needed then only we have to use and that also in a limited quantity and we have to prevent the pollution preventing pollution is another step to conserve the or to protect the resources and next preserving the biological diversity on earth we have to protect or we have to preserve the biological diversity on earth or the wild animals and all we have to give protection to them and the recycling reusable resources recycling of reusable resources and using more abundant alternatives instead of scarce resources whatever resources are available that we can use more and the scarce resources or the resources that are less in quantity that we can uh, limit the use of such resources and see these are the uh, main things related with the sustainable development or the conservation of resources and see and again i am repeating some of the main points from this chapter anything that satisfies human needs is called a resource that we have learned already at the very beginning and all resources have some utility and value that also we have learned the resources uh, that gives us pleasure have aesthetic value and the resources that can be bought and sold have economic value all these things we have learned and seen some no renewable and non renewable also we have learned and non renewable resources occurred by the natural processes and it will take a lot of years to occur again so we have to be very careful when we are using such type of resources okay thank you very much the next topic we can learn the next class